Static electricity, a charge so small you can't see, hear, or feel it, can damage or even destroy your electronics. That's why you need an ESD floor. Choosing the right ESD floor for your lab or clean room isn't complicated if you follow four critical steps. Let's break it down. First, no ESD standards. ESD standards vary across industries. Know the standards for your industry and application. Learn how to do the tests using methods like ANSI ESD STM 7.1 or ASTM F150 for electrical resistance. Methods trusted for over 70 years. These tests measure how fast or slowly an ESD floor will dissipate static charges to ground. You also need to check charge generation. Test method 97.2 tells you how much of a charge you'll get when people walk on the floor. For meaningful results, the person doing the test needs to wear the same exact footwear people will use in the space. To protect ultra-sensitive devices, charges must be well under 100 volts. Second, verify test results. Don't just take their word for it. Ask for test results from an independent lab or test samples yourself. This pre-selection testing is called qualification. After your floor is installed, be sure to verify the results because good enough is not good enough. Third, consider variables. Every ESD flooring project is different. To be sure you're choosing the right floor for your application, clarify your objectives and consider the variables. For ISO class seven labs and operational spaces, interlocking tile like Groundlock Extreme is quick and easy to install. Groundlock tile can be installed right over problem subfloors, including cracked concrete or floors with vapor or moisture issues. You might also consider Groundlock Extreme lay flat tile, conductive or SD vinyl tile or sheets, EC rubber sheet goods, Groundworks ESD epoxy, as you narrow your options, be sure the material meets all your other criteria. Antimicrobial, low maintenance, low VOC. Think ergonomics, noise reduction, chemical resistance, slip prevention, because sustainability, comfort, and safety matter too. And be sure the floor is built to last. Fourth, try before you buy. Before you commit, make the floor prove itself. Install a test patch, fill, stomp, scuff, Drive over it. Let the floor take a beating for a month or two. See what it looks like, how it's held up. Then retest for ESD compliance. If it passes inspection, you've found your floor. If the floor meets ESD standards, passes tests, and checks all the right boxes for your application, you've got an ESD floor you can rely on now and for the life of your floor. Let's recap. Know the ESD standards for your application request ESD test results, or test the samples yourself. Clarify your objectives and consider the variables. Try before you buy. Don't guess. No, the floor works. Four steps, one rock solid floor. Protect your mission from the ground up.